Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the final of the Midwest Scrub Down. Today, I am joined by... The Iron Man, Matt Carey. How's everybody doing? Uh, that's right. Today, we have Doug Howell versus Tommy Adams, two players near and dear to my heart. They have fought through the final. Let's go ahead, and for anybody who is tuning in, let's give you guys some background on the event. Uh, so the Midwest Scrub Down is hosted by the Midwest Scrubcast. Uh, we this is good, our first, our inaugural mm -hmm. tournament. Uh, likely going to do this next year. That's the plan. It seems so far. It's in St. Louis, Missouri, at Miniature Market, which most people mm -hmm. you know that play board games know. Uh, they have two physical locations in St. Louis, so we're running it at the larger location. Uh, we. Uh, had 42 players. Some people got sick, couldn't make it. So uh, 38 players, and um, it's an extended tournament. Uh, we wanted to see what the uh, what 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 was uh, what people could build that was different because mm -hmm. everything so far has been kind of standard. You know, in, in, I'm not saying people have been standard. The format has been standard. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so uh, five rounds of Swiss, uh, four rounds of cut. And we are at the top two uh, with uh, two members of Team USA. Mm-hmm. From the XTC, which that, that'll be spinning up here soon. I know. And uh, we have background information. Nothing is public yet. Yeah. But uh, you guys will be finding that out soon. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's break down these lists. They're, they have some some mirrors of each other here and there it's it's interesting different ways to to get the same result yeah go ahead break it down okay in on on doug house side in the green x-wing is wedge antilles with enduring proton torpedoes afterburners and servo motor s foils kind of just staple those on the x-wings uh and in the blue x-wing we have luke skywalker with instinctive aim outmaneuver proton torpedoes r3 astromech afterburners and server motor s foils and in the arc 170 we have shara bay with ursaren and the child which has a fun interaction <laughs> and then as the two-pointer to round out the rest of the list is Derek clivian in the a wing with no upgrades let me go ahead and br br bust out those cards so that we can explain how that goes let's see if the, if the images have been uh it says ursa ren crew, crew right? yes okay and then the child all right that's pretty fancy <laughs> so ursa ren is uh you can maintain may maintain up to two locks that's that's nice, but it's 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 not the kicker here. Mm -hmm. um, each lock must be on a different object. After a friendly ship at range zero to three is locked, you may acquire lock on an enemy ship. So if anybody anybody target locks a friendly, so you could target lock yourself. So mm -hmm. with Luke, uh, with R three Ashmac, he could technically target lock a friendly and trigger this. Um, but that's not the only way to trigger this uh, this target lock scenario. You have the child, which not only gives Shara two force, but also uh, gives merciless pursuit, which uh, allows the uh, two uh, of Tommy's ships who are selected, you know, before uh, the, the, the at the at the setup that after they perform an attack they're allowed to uh, they may acquire lock on the ship that has the child so that means they can get a free lock on shara but shara can also get a free lock on any enemy enemy ship so that just that it just pumps her power level especially with her ability shara's ability is she can spend a target lock to add a eyeball result to offense or defense so it, it's uh with a focus and two force, mm -hmm. it's just a really powerful combo. Now, real quick here, we did get a. I thought I thought I saw a proton torpedo from Corin going into wedge there. Oh wow! 
Yeah, pretty quick. pretty quickly. Um, I missed the damage, so I'm going to go just take a peek because their cards are on the All side. Right. I'll, of, I'll, I'll keep uh, reading off the list in the meantime. All right, on the right side, we have Luke Skywalker uh, with Instinctive Aim, Outmaneuver, Proton Torpedoes, R3 Astromech, Afterburners, and Server Motor S-Foils. And then in the E-Wing, which Dion just mentioned, was is Corrin Horn with Elusive Fire Control System, Proton Torpedoes, R3 Astromech, and Munition sail fa Failsafe. And in the Sheathapede, you have AP-5 with Leo Organa. And then in the TIE Fighter down by his lonesome, you have Ezra Bridger with K2SO and Precision Ion Engines. And it was two shields off of Wedge okay. in that All opening. Right. So luckily, luckily enough to get the two evades there because that could have been devastating to have yeah. crits so early uh, in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, looks like both of them were probably in range of uh, of two objectives. Mm -hmm. So they're both going to end up with two points each. There we go. And there it is. There's my thumbnail right there. Bam. Intensity. <laughs> it doesn't look like it took Focus. Uh, for the points for Doug. I don't know why. What? One, two. There you go. That is a pretty big... Uh, uh, get for for Tommy on the beginning uh, mm -hmm. getting wedge to wear uh, more proton torpedoes because both Luke and ha and Corin have them can lay into him he could potentially go or get out in one round yep and you know what I have found is you know these X-wings when they have their shields they, they're usually pretty aggressive right oh, yeah. they're, they're, they're yeah, going yeah. for it but as soon as those shields are gone you got to start playing a little cagey yeah. and I, in assault at the satellite array you you want to be aggressive with taking space though I will tell you Tommy what when I watched him play his last couple games he's mostly going in so like listen there's two ways to win this game <laughs> we can do it through objectives or or through just destroying all your ships and yeah. uh the last game that's exactly what he did so yeah. we'll see if that's what he's leaning on yeah uh coordinated a target lock to corin uh to re that doesn't have to measure range because the e-wings with their ship ability cannot acquire lock at range one mm -hmm. but can get it any anything outside of range one or actually at range zero two, weirdly, that would be, <laughs> you'd have to coordinate at range zero. It'd be an odd odd scenario. If somebody coordinated you in action, yeah, and you coordinated somebody you had at range zero. So ship A coordinates ship B to do a coordinate to the ship that's at range zero of ship B. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a waste of <laughs> action, say, like, but you did it. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Uh, Shara just taking it slow. Going to try and get range of, you know, stay in range of the objectives. Because uh -huh. in Assault at the Satellite Array, uh, you gain points if you are the, you have the most ships within range one of an objective with medium bases and large bases counting as two ships. Yep. Uh, medium bases do really well for for capturing two points at once because yes. they can be within range and they count for two points. Large bases can do it as well, but they move a little quicker, so it's hard to keep them in range of two. Uh, it's a, a really good boon. Corn uh, and Luke there just saying, Wedge, if you're coming over here, you're going to get yeah, popped. Yeah, you're not going to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. He's got that that yellow target lock is the one from Corin, so lots of danger there. And oh, even going to boost after that, it's super super aggressive. You're still in range one yeah. of that back uh, objective, and you're going towards the center, just making sure that you can threaten more area for Luke. So that was an afterburners ah, okay. on Luke Skywalker, followed by a target lock action. Using that galactic championship target lock. Now we see Doug's Luke coming up from south. Three Harding in. 
See if he reaches for the lock here. Yeah, there it is. Putting a tiny little Luke Skywalker miniature out there <laughs> and then also targeting uh, using an R2-D2 tiny little lock on yes. Shara. Wedge getting out of dodge. Four probably going to use it. Afterburners. afterburners. <laughs> Saying, no thanks. I choose life. <laughs> <laughs> And he's deciding on a direction. It's going to go to the left. That gets you on the outside of Corrin's arc. You might just be clipped by Luke. Yeah, it's going to be At close. Range three, it will be close. I mean, one taking one shot better than two. So. Oh, definitely. And it, it gets him probably within range one to lay into Ezra. Mm -hmm. and, and if he made it out, then it's just free shots. That's right. Took a focus. And here we go. It is range one. I saw we saw the stick. Here we go. First shot. Focus for two hits and a crit. Only two agility because of that. Tie fighter, take one crit. Direct Directing. hit onto Ezra. So it's gonna be two damage. No half points in assault at the satellite array. Uh, looks like might just be out. It was a oh, very good move by out. Doug. Very nice. Proton Torpedo at the opposing Luke Skywalker. Four on two. Double focus, single crit. Fire control could be a full string. He's going for it. He's doing it. Two hits, two crits. Luke taking three and a crit underneath. That could be big. Weapons, weapons failure, failure in this matchup. That's a tough one. <laughs> oh, and oh, sorry, wrong X-Wing. Wrong X-Wing. Just before he's about to shoot too, which is yep. unfortunate for him. Still gets they three results. Hit, hit, That's crit. still there not bad. Go. Corrin has no spent spent all his mods on offense, so loses two shields. Looks like my shot is from Derek. Mm -hmm. Gonna keep keep going at that three agility E wing. Spend the focus for two, and yeah. you're gonna squeak another one through. There you go. You threw the shields. You've gotten to the squishy center. <laughs> AP5 oh, yeah. out the back. Slayer of Worlds. <laughs> there it is. Two hits. He just throws heat. That's, that's AP5. Throwing one more into Wedge. It's a brutal round. With these proton torpedoes on the, on the floor, like, everybody's within, you know, everybody that took damage there mm -hmm. is within one shot of dying. The Corin, Ezra, Luke, Wedge. Just. It's going to be a slugfest next turn, too. So, updated score 5 to 4 in favor of Tommy Adams on this one. And we are on turn 3. Shara is in a bit of an odd spot uh, mm -hmm. behind Luke uh, down there in south. Otherwise, she could have just two hearted in and you know been able to stare down that e-wing and that x-wing i think you know if you have a healthier in other matchups right, if you have a healthier or wedge and luke um i'm guessing doug probably tries to swing these x-wings around like mm -hmm. around the back and you have you kind of end up meeting shara in the mid game yeah uh, might be the the idea there with the looks i feel like he's he's got you know, the one one forward and then the turn after that. Yeah. Uh, AP5 just going to probably too hard coordinate uh, Corrin again. Uh, and then Ezra going to try and get near that objective and just pray that Wedge doesn't delete him. And, oh, man. Um, Doug's Luke. I, he's not in a, 
a super happy spot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but he could trade and take out Corrin for for his Luke, and that might be worth it. Um, especially if you could get Derek in there to put some shots in, and if Shar can at least turn enough to get her arc, the arc of her arcs, mm-hmm. her arcs of her arc on <laughs> on. On target, yeah, and with with those heavy hitters on both sides, are you know you have Luke, Luke, and the Lukes and Corin are at seven points versus Wedge, so I think it's it's also going to come down to like who do you want to protect more? Do you think Wedge is a better end game piece because of his offensive ability, mm-hmm. or is it Luke for his defensive ability? Yeah, it's a decision that you're going to have to make. And uh, whereas like Tommy, you know, both of his. At the E wing and Luke are both very defensive. You know, three agility is super good, especially when you have AP five. That's just going to keep supplying you with tokens. Give me all, uh, the yeah, tokens. all the tokens, and you can focus. And then if you still get your action, you get an evade. You know. And another reminder here that this is an extended event. That's why we have the E wing. Turns out E wing is the uh, you know officially right crowned the top extended ship right? i guess they made, so they made it to the final yeah i mean they've been they showed up they made a very good showing mm-hmm. uh definitely uh, they made it to the top four and then into the top two uh nick sperry being the other uh e-wing flyer uh flew gavin darklighter instead of corn Yeah, and also he could have just you know digging back to Doug and his uh, his play for Shara. I mean, just trying to trying to soak up some objective points. Just oh yeah, be, definitely. Just be there. Yeah, and if she does the one bank, you know, just it just says, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the hit for you know running into Luke. It's it's still not a bad call. Keeps you near an objective. Tommy is gonna be the first player again. Remember that first player token is marked by the token at the top of your screen between the two players. Clever little video trick <laughs> there. AP5 with that too hard. There is that coordinate. Looks like he gets gets corn. There's the focus. I think that's a pretty slick move with Ezra because if he bear rolls, there's potential that Wedge could. What was he measuring for? Oh, he's jamming jam. Pump w- with K2SO. The jam. There it is, that K2 on Ezra. It's pretty common people flying. Uh, Leia on kind of a, a switched loadout here between AP5 and Ezra. But um, one of the things Tommy was saying is that it seems like Ezra gets more in the fray mm-hmm. most of the time. So you want to protect Leia as it's such a strategic piece. Indeed. And uh, the versatility that I rarely ever see is using that, uh, that jam token, which kind of leads me to believe that he's sending Luke towards Wedge. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tommy, that is, is sending his Luke towards Wedge and just going to try and peel him off because even if Wedge gets runs into Ezra, he he can take that, that stressful focus, but it won't do anything for him. So mm-hmm. it's a really good play there. Now you saw Doug did a uh, tactical bump. Tactical bump still a thing and now yeah. just potentially costs you damage. Yeah. So purposely runs um, Shara into Luke to start turning that arc a little bit and potentially have a shot this turn. Uh, It does not look like he took damage from it, so it was not a bad play. uh, Corrin just sneaking in there, getting that evade action, just turtling up. All right, here we go. Tommy, he's turning Luke Skywalker versus Doug's wedge, trying to create a bit of a box here between Ezra and Luke. So Luke already has a a, a lock right now. Mm-hmm. Just slap the focus down. And prepare to fire. I already got all the tokens I need. I can't take any more. 
<laughs> I've definitely been in that spot. I was like, what action? Uh, I've, I've used I'm all the all, ones I'm done. done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Doug getting rid of the weapons failure mm -hmm. on and his flipping those go. wings open as well. And Wedge doing a one bank. He, oh man, that's a block. That's a really good call by Tommy. Hey, Wedge will still get a shot, but uh, it's going to be tokenless in the face of Luke's proton torpedo. Tommy's Luke, that is. Yep. It, it prevents him like he could take the focus now, but if he does, he's jammed, so it doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter. So you just don't do it, so you don't end up stressed. Yeah, you'd just be stressing yourself for no good reason. Let's see what we get. Uh, nothing on that range zero attack. Oh. Out! Oh, and I forgot about out maneuver. <laughs> Ooh. It's gonna be four on one. This is. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna spin the lock. Spin there it that's, is. That's Dump the it. force, and that's gonna be a guarantee. And wedge goes down. Red two. Oh, <laughs> red two. Up next, we'll see corn horn. I'm going to guess we'll shoot into Luke. Yeah. And, all right, so... They're measuring range? Mm-hmm. Luke... <coughs> Excuse me. Doug's Luke trying to see if he got range one to Corrin. Believe he has it. But Corrin goes first. Primary. Yeah, can spend the full full target lock even though you got the FCS. You just uh try and put the herd in. And oh. that'll do it after spending it four damage. You're guaranteed to get one. You and three just took three that that's Luke enough. goes down. I I mean the the X Wings are the workhorses in this <laughs> yeah. list. Yeah. Uh Doug's how Doug <laughs> Doug's how Doug Doug how's X Wing does get to fire back. Um and could potentially wipe out Horn, Corn Horn, which you do want to do because otherwise he can uh, double tap a ship in his bullseye during the end phase, and uh, he's got at least two. So we're gonna get instinctive, instinctive. aim. Hitting two crits. Uh he was out. He was Luke on Luke. Mm -hmm. That's why it's an out maneuver. Wounded pilot on Luke. I think with the objectives, he may have just locked it. Is AP five in range one of those two at the top? I th he's definitely in range of one of them. Uh, probably the other one. Spends two force for three on that attack. One more damage on Corrin. Here we go, Ezra. Through the cloud. Ah, nothing. Miss. Derek trying to do some damage into Luke. See at least one of the die. Uh... Ah, unable to do it. Mm -hmm. That's that's the that's game. Wow. Congratulations, Tommy Adams, getting the W here. That'll be twenty to six after collecting those. Um, and as Epionic uh, said in the chat, uh, twenty minute finals, GSP copyright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He said it was five technically because there was he wasn't in range of that one. But ah, okay. It's still, still the win towards Tommy. Yes. So congratulations. I mean, you know, they 
They came out swinging. Oh, they yeah. They came out swinging. Um, Proton Torpedoes has always been – we're going to go ahead and switch to the giveaway camera here. Proton Torpedoes has always been a um, – been an upgrade that can – be a, a kingmaker, oh, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. you, you get you get a couple of them off to go, and you're like, "Well, I've, I've won the game because you started this this damage race." Um, and I feel like if you can fit proton torpedoes in your list, most people oh, yeah. do it. Definitely, and uh, we we definitely saw the power of outmaneuver, which you know it, it is being obviously addressed. Yeah. Uh, and proton torpedoes with outmaneuver, they just they punch really really hard. Yeah. Well, that was uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you to the Midwest Scrubcast for inviting me down to St. Louis. I look forward to coming back for future events. And uh, for everybody at home, remember, we will be live next weekend from Richmond, Virginia, bringing you uh, standard action. But we're going to have the new objectives, new points. All that's going to be live for that event, which would be absolutely fantastic. Should be a ton of fun. Um, additionally... Additionally, let's go ahead and finish up here with some giveaways. We will be live on Monday for the podcast so that we can break down all of those changes. Um, honestly, I might see if uh, – yeah, I have a long drive. i got about five and a half hours uh, of driving. But, hey, if, uh, if you're on our Discord and have nothing better to do, if you want to read me changes <laughs> – while I drive, I think I'd appreciate it so I can prepare my mind for what we need to talk about tomorrow. Uh, oh, oh yeah, sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Turn it on. Turn, turn it around. You can, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get a presentation. All right. So you get the the this camera, the one that we're using right now. Um, yeah, I'll get it turned around. Let me go do that. Let me, I'll be right back, everybody. Don't go anywhere. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.